what they call what the guys are calling is a hyperbaric. Hyperbaric or a yeah. sucker gap. This is the spark cap apparatus. Yeah. I'm gonna have to clean these before we start here because uh, these it fouls out, but it's I'm gonna re-engineer this where I have I don't have this setup on here because the pipe require regular cleaning. Sure. I gotta put a clamp a, a ground clamp on this so I can take it off. Okay. So we got copper on the ends for for good conductivity, and then it's insulated with the plastic. This is just a a, a, a chamber. Oh, is all that is. Just a chamber in there. Yep. There's a, and you got these. Oh, those are labeled primary and and ground, or that's the transformer. Cables. Yeah, this goes to that. This is the ground for the tank circuit. Now, did you find this somewhere? This idea for the spark gap, or? Yeah, it's on the internet. This is. I'm running a lot of current through here, so uh, we'll, we can try two ways if we can get this thing put together fast enough. We'll turn yeah. it 10 kV and see how it, how it works for that. I don't know, but I'm running about 200 milliamps here. Hmm. Uh, at 7.5 kbs, that's a lot of current. This really isn't the best system for this. 